everybody is trying to be somebody without even knowing themselves. So this is something my dad said to me uh, like maybe two months ago or so, maybe even earlier or sooner. And it was like after I showed him a video of like, uh, this, it was Dr. K. If you guys, I don't know if you guys know Dr. K, but he's like this internet therapist, I guess. Um, very smart, very interesting videos. He was talking about how when it comes to just sex or sexual drive, some people derive their entire existence off of that type of stuff. And they get kind of like a false sense of themselves based on, just purely based on their sexual hierarchy. Um, so, but with my dad said, mainly with what my dad said, people are trying to be somebody or everybody's trying to be somebody without even knowing themselves or without even knowing who they are um, as a person. And this, this really spoke to me because I feel like I can relate to that. Um, seeing as I'm someone who's like, just posting on YouTube, I guess, like, you know, trying to attract an audience and stuff. And I feel like there's so many parts of myself that I'm not well um, acquainted with that I don't know that much about myself. And I don't know if that's because I'm avoiding or if that's because I haven't reached certain points in my life to know that much about myself. But like what he really said, everybody's trying to be somebody without even knowing themselves. And I feel like that's like, that's like everybody is. You know, but I feel like it's become a lot more rampant um, with how the Internet is right with the Internet. It seems like anybody can become famous, right? Anybody can just post on YouTube, um, have their own view on things and then end up getting some type of audience, whether it be like a micro small audience or like a huge audience over time or whatever. And it's like anybody and again, anybody can start it. So. People can start it with for all the wrong reasons, too. Instead of just being like them wanting to share them, their experiences in the world, they can just be like, oh, I just want to get YouTube rich or I just want to get that YouTube money. And then that ends up leading to them uh, just kind of putting on a false sense of self or a false version of themselves and just kind of shilling out, you know, to do whatever it is that they can do to get views or to get you know money on the platform. Um, you know, whether that be, you know, Instagram, TikTok, you know, wherever you can make money on the internet, you know, um, and you just probably just start, uh, parroting like opinions and views that you've heard from other people and, and you don't even have your own thoughts yourself. And that's just, that's just something that I think is very interesting. Um, and it's like, you know, am I one of these people? Am I one of these people that are just like, floating around on the internet being like, well, I'm trying to be somebody. I'm trying to be somebody. And then I'm like, you know, I don't even know, like, you know, basic things about myself. No, I mean, I don't feel like as if I'm a stranger to myself, but there's there's definitely areas in my life to where I can definitely further explore who I am, uh, further interests, like, you know, what I really want to do with myself with my life. Um, because even like, you know, YouTube, right? I mean, sure, I really only just started this whole thing. I'm really, I'm really only maybe four months or so into this, into all of this. But it's like, you know, I'm not sure if I want to do this YouTube thing my entire life or, you know, have this YouTube thing be like the biggest thing in my life. To me, with, with how I feel like the way paths go within my life, I just kind of stick to something. I kind of do something and I end up just sticking to it without really being like having huge goals and aspirations. I mean, of course, I'm going to be like, oh, man, it would be really cool to be like a famous artist or it'd be really cool to have a huge uh, YouTube following. But like right now, those, those are like thoughts that are kind of in the background. These are kind of like, well, I enjoy doing YouTube. I enjoy working out and posting. Um, even when I kind of don't feel like it, I just kind of enjoy that that satisfaction I get. I also enjoy like making art. I enjoy drawing. I enjoy just seeing that I created something out of nothing. So it's like I do these things where I say relatively consistently with drawing. I, I've been a bit lacking, but um, I, you know, these things I do relatively consistently. 
um, if not every day, right? And this is something that I enjoy. So it's like I'm not be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna post on YouTube and I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the biggest uh, YouTube celebrity ever. This is my this is my 12 step plan guarantee that I'm gonna become the biggest YouTuber um, in the, in, on the platform. Like I don't have I don't have anything like that. I'm like in my head I'm imagining like you know me getting a good couple of thousand subscribers, maybe down the line like a million subscribers or something, and then. You know, like that's what I'm thinking, but I'm not thinking like, okay, uh, I'm gonna make sure I do this. I'm gonna edit my videos like this. I'm gonna do that because it's like a, again, I know myself enough to know that I don't want to post. I don't know some like overly edited videos that can easily, easily get like, you know, a hundred thousand views. It could probably get me like a bunch of subscribers, but that's not the type of content I want to upload. That's not what I feel like is true to me. The way I upload now. Sure, it might be like, you know, uh, heavily, I guess you could say copied from the style of uh, K Bogues, the way he uploads his videos or the way his videos are formatted. And then, you know, Ivan uh, or Yvonne Durek, uh, you know, hit the squad every day guy, how his videos are, right? I'm, I'm, I'm practically a copycat, right? I'm not like super original or whatever. But at the same time, it's like, I like this way of uploading. I watch their videos for a reason. I watch their videos consistently for a reason because it's so simplistic. It's so easy to to consume and just to even have on in the background or it, it very informational stuff like that. Very compact. It's not something crazy that's like so stimulatory. Oh, they have like 5,001 graphics going on on the screen. They have subtitles going across the screen. Uh, they have a bunch of images. They have bright colors, stuff like that. Like, I could eat, like, if I wanted to, I could easily just sit down and, like, edit videos like that and post every, like, week or something like that or every other or, you know, every three days. And that could probably grow my channel a lot faster than what I'm doing now. But I'm not interested in making that type of content. I don't feel like that's true to me, right? And so many people might go on YouTube and treat it, like, as if it's a business practice rather than sharing your own life or sharing your own of sharing who you are, right? People might share like a very false version of themselves. And it, it, if down the line, well, guess what? They're probably going to end up changing it up. They're probably going to end up changing up their content because they figured out who they are. Um, and then who knows? That might end up leaving their audience to be very dissatisfied and they might just have a big chunk of their audience leave. But if they made that those sacrifices to actually be true to the true to themselves then that's only going to do that's going to do nothing but benefit them in the long run right so this this type of content that i'm making it's true to me it's true to who i am it's very simple it's very simplistic i think i'm a pretty simple person um for the most part and so i don't see any other reason to complicate things for for i don't know better engagement or better views or whatever the case may be i enjoy this it seems like there's a couple of people that enjoy it. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't have, you know, all the subscribers or, you know, 900 subscribers that I have so far. I, I, again, I really do appreciate you guys. Um, even, you know, new viewers, new viewers and whatnot. So, again, like, you know, if you want to be somebody, you have to be yourself. And to be yourself, you have to know yourself. So how do you get to know yourself? How do you know these things about yourself? So... For one, put yourself in uncomfortable situations, right? You know, maybe interact with the person that you didn't want to interact with or someone that, you know, you maybe you've been meaning to talk to, but you've been holding back because you're nervous. Um, you know, maybe um, express, oh, or express certain disinterest and whatnot. Like maybe uh, your friend wants to take you out to eat somewhere. Well, actually, no, maybe that's rude, but let's say... There's a food item, some type of food item, and you're not exactly expressing how you feel about that food item. Just say, just say, I don't really like blah, blah, blah. I don't really like clam fish or clam shell or whatever. I don't want to eat clam shell. I think it's nasty. Then that's a way of you expressing yourself. And when you express yourself, you get much better. You, you're able to better recognize who you are, right? So expression can come in many ways. Uh, creativity. So I think creativity is one of, if not the best way to express yourself. Um, it has complete freedom. 
you can put whatever you want on paper. You can draw, you can write, you can paint, um, you know, you can make videos like how I am. It doesn't matter. You can do so many things with creativity. There's so many mediums. You can make music. So express yourself in those types of ways. Find ways to, to put out how you feel on the inside, on the outside, right? So a way of me doing that is like through drawing. Uh, a way of me doing that is through videos. For the, That's probably the main source of how I put what's inside on the outside. So this way I can kind of like know who I am a lot better and adjust to like, actually I kind of, I kind of feel this way about certain situations instead of like not knowing. Like imagine you, you're at a decision, you're at some type of dilemma. And in order to solve this dilemma, you need to search deep within to, in order to figure this out because this is a, a you dilemma, right? This is no, nobody else can solve this for you. So imagine you're trying to look into yourself and you come up with the I don't know, right? Well, if you knew who you are, if you properly express yourself in the past, or if you probably express yourself now, then you are probably going to be able to solve that situation a lot faster. At least that's how I see it, right? Because when it comes to properly expressing yourself, I don't mean whining or complaining or being like, you know, overly exaggerative or about certain things. I mean, actually putting your foot down and being like, well... I don't really know about this situation because I feel as if it could be better due to blah, blah, blah. Right. So right now I'm a part of a film group and we have to make our uh, first short film. And of course, there's going to be like some creative disputes, creative disagreements. And for the most part, we have to find a common ground to where we can both agree to like, OK, this makes sense. And that requires me to have to say how I actually feel about how I want something to go down. Now, I don't have complete creative control over the film because I'm, I'm the writer. I wrote the film. I'm not the director. I'm the assistant director. But again, if I feel like there's something that can be added or taken away from the whole uh, process that can better it, then I should say something, right? I should say something and I should express that. I should express that because otherwise nothing's going to happen. There's not going to be any type of change. And, I'm not, and I might just like further reclude back into my shell I just might further draw away from whatever situation and so the more you let's say the more you fight right the better you're going to be at fighting so the more you express yourself the better you're going to be at expressing yourself the more you go at a situation the more you confront things right so the more confrontation you do the better you are the better you're going to be at confrontation so you just have to, like, again, you, you just have to find those things that allow you to express how you feel on the inside to the outside that is a healthy. And then you also have to put yourself in uncomfortable situations so you can really search deep within to know who you are. So then that way you can actually be somebody and that somebody is yourself.